What's good, YouTube? Carfight King here, Aqua Life, baby. You already know how it is. Uh, so today, guys, I wanted to give you guys a locals report uh, for yesterday, Monday. Um, play chaos again. Uh, you know, if you guys remember last Monday, I uh, topped with it, picked you know, picked the back, picked the deck back up again, get my engines for the deck restarted. Played it Saturday um, at the uh, where I got second place at the Maryland ARG States Championship. Got my invite to nationals and all that with Chaos Breaker. Um, really, really happy about that. Um, so I figured, you know what, I'm on a roll with it, feeling myself a bit. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So played it again Monday. Um, having a lot of fun with the deck. Having a lot of fun getting back into it, getting back to the Chaos Roots and whatnot. Um, really, really just enjoying it. I think the GB8 uh, has definitely gave it some semblance of a finisher. Um, uh, really, really happy with that card. I think of it more like a super uni super chaos universe. Chaos universe is still a boss, but uh, this card is definitely a super chaos universe in a sense. Um, also, again, you know, another recent thing is you know people have some a few tendencies when it comes to like you know Link Jokers or Chaos Breaker or whatever. You know, it's like they hate playing against it, so their mood generally will change, you know, especially depending on what deck they're playing against, you know, their mood sort of changes in a sense, like, damn, I gotta play Chaos Breaker, uh, you know, um, also, it's a deck, I think, that comes out of left field, in a sense, as well, um, not a lot of people prepare to play against, like, Chaos Breaker, Link Joker, it's not really something that's, you know, really seen a lot, uh, you know, example, Gurguit, you know, taking out Ezel, you know, for, alternative Gurguit, so you're having two different versions. Um, obviously, unless you play against that one random Ezel player or that, you know, player who plays uh, Alfred <laughs> um, the uh, with the stride card that unlocks, you know, when you, if you have the Alfred Vanguard. Other than that, um, I, I, you know, seeing the game, you know, how I think is more like a tempo aggro type of format and playing the game from a control control style and seeing the game from that perspective, I think it's very good, good very unique, very something uh, refreshing in a sense, seeing how you can bear stack with it. Um, you know, even though for Chaos right now, I think it's worst matchup right now uh, would be Night Rose. Um, and I do have Night Rose, but you know, playing against it, I do want to get better with that matchup personally for myself. Uh, but you know, um, I think Chaos is still, you know, is re still really good deck and a good answer to uh, you know what's seen nowadays. Um, with that respect, round one played against Luard. Uh, he's a new, he's a bit of a newer player to the to the scene in a bit. Um, uh, his improvement from, you know, when I first kind of started, you know, when he came, you know, start looking at his game, seeing how he was doing, to now, uh, he's a really cool guy, um, I think he's definitely going to be a good one, he has definitely, a, a bright future with Vanguard, he's open to learning, open to criticism, things like that, um, he's slowly acquiring the pieces he needs for his, you know, competitive decks, obviously, Luard is going to probably be the hardest one, because, um, you know, Bilal Al and Morfessa between those two is, you know, close to close to 200 200 bones um but yeah so game one um but yeah his improvement is definitely good uh game one and two pretty much went the same way i was just able to control this board prevent him from being able to sack something off and uh being able to sack something off and um you know get luar's ability going um, and again, again, he doesn't have everything he needs for the deck, so he, there are pieces missing, like, uh, you know, I believe Morfessa, Blau Al, some of the strides and whatnot, but, um, he's slowly but surely acquiring the card, so I was able to win that one 2-0, uh, you know, for those reasons, um, and the GBA card for, for Link, for Link Joker, Alt Wilder is really great. Uh, then round two played against another Luar player who did, who did have a complete deck. Um, game one was doing the same thing I did against my first opponent, was able to just control the board, uh, prevent, you know, you know, reduce him to a singular Vanguard Calm attack, uh, but was able to go and, um, pretty much at the end of the game, retired his board. He had, because he was making defensive plays where he would, like, 
call Bilal Al, sack Bilal Al with, oh, excuse me, Whew. sack Bilal Al with Esra's, add Esra's back to hand, and then draw a card from Bilal Al. Esra's is the PG for Luar. Uh, so he was doing that play. You know, he had seven cards in hand, but I forced him with Alt Walder to call five from his hand, face down, locked, and um, he had to, he didn't have enough shield to guard uh, three attacks uh, on my board. Um, game two more or less went the exact same way. Uh, made some, I made some risky guarding decisions, like, you know, no guarding, like, uh, you know, just no guarding some attacks I was kind of iffy about, but, um, I did guard well against his, on his Duke turn, um, just was like, uh, if he, you know, a perfect guard, his first triple drive, if he doesn't get a crit on his first triple drive, uh, while I'm at, you know, um, you know, while I'm at three damage, then I will take his second hit. Cause even if he hits a crit, I'll only be at five. So I was able to guard that one, um, effectively control the board, then go into alt wilder and, uh, effectively in the game on alt wilder, uh, taking out enough cards from his hands where, um, you know, he had, he was going to have some guarding deficiencies. Uh, then round three, uh, which was the last round, um, uh, it was a short tournament. Uh, round three was the last round. Played against uh, my teammate, my home dog, my boy, uh, Anton. <sighs> he is a sacky mofo. Let me tell you this, guys. He is such a sacky mofo. No, no, no. Uh, he played Ultima Brave. Uh, he is one of the best Royal Paladin players in the area, um, if not the best. I, I, he is just... A uh, really strong player, really good, and, you know, works on his craft a lot. Um, he played Brave, and, you know, he was he's on a mission, you know, trying to tell people, hey, Brave is what's up. You know, the more it got support, the better it gets. If something continues to get support, every England support, even if majority of it is not good, you'll get one or two cards. And that is going to tr that's going to carry over into the next time it gets support. You will add those cards to some of the new cards. Then next time it gets support, you do the same thing again. And what happened was, you know, you get a really a nice solid you know deck. And um, you know he you know the way that he's worked with Brave, trying to figure out what's the best combination of cards and stuff. And the way that you know he plays in his strategy with it is really uh, it's really good. And so when we played game one, I was stuck on Chaos Bringer. Um, I had the G assist, and um, you know I was just all my zinks were gone. Uh, I rode one and damaged two of them. Uh, I was just starved for. It was just really one of those just unfortunate things. You know, I was just really starved for counter blasting. Um, you know, I had to ride. Chaos Bringer, uh, you know, with the Limb Break Enabler on board, but I didn't have enough Counter Blast. Um, he had a really pretty strong early game in a sense, um, and I didn't see my Great Twos, uh, which is, I guess, another issue in a sense. You know, you don't see your Great Twos. It, you know, can definitely be a bit of an uphill climb. You know, I can't, you know, I didn't see Photon or Iron um, or Paradigm Shift for that fact. Uh, so was not... Uh, in the best position, and you know, he, I, you know, I, I came back a little bit. You know, I saw them eventually, but um, you know, he pushed me back a little bit too far, and then he had this this one brave card where it was swinging for like fifty one k with an extra crit, and I'm like, dang, I don't have any of my perfect guards, uh, G guards. So it was, uh, yeah, it was just a bit of it was just a really bad uphill climb. I couldn't get rid of his field, um. And then game two. Game two was actually a lot better. I was able to control him a bit better and whatnot. Uh, but what happened was... Um, now, I was not seeing my perfect guards again. Which was just an issue I had against him. I have him at five damage. Pretty much his, you know, two both columns locked. Couldn't do anything. I swung at him... Uh, 26k. He's at five damage, three cards in hand. I got a 12k column here because um didn't you know really see any good offensive grade twos to call out, and I had a 18k column. 
Swing with my Vanguard. You know guards. I get a crit. Stack it on my other column. He double heals on six. He double heals on six. He double healed on six. Anton, you suck. Anyways, so yeah. Double healed on six. Uh, other columns were just, you know, out of reach at that point. Um, then he went into that one brave card where I can't remember his name. I have to go look. If you can guys see the, you can go see the deck profile, um, which is the last video uh, that I put up before this one. He went to that one card, gained like he was at like sixty one k with the double crit. I didn't have a PG. If I had a PG, I would have been able to do something. But I, all four of my perfect guards were in my deck, more or less towards the bottom. Just, just unfortunate. Well, the rest of them. I damaged one, and then the rest of them were just towards the bottom. I couldn't guard it. Hoping to, I was hoping to pull a double heal trigger on six myself, but nope. 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 So, uh, yeah. That happened. But still ended up, we both ended up topping because we were both undefeated to that point. And, uh, yeah. It was pretty cool. But he sacked me super hard. Go look at the deck profile. Um... Not too many things he was playing because a lot of stuff is from some other sets, but uh, go look at deck profile, see his deck, and um, yeah, he did good. He did real good. He, he's really, really strong. But now we got 1-1, one, one. so we're 1-1 we're one, one because the last time I played him, uh, I beat him. This time he beat me, so now we got to get that tiebreaker between us. Hopefully we can get that on camera. Uh, but yeah, that's it for the tournament report. Um, Dynasty Cup of this Saturday, I might have a job interview on Saturday, um, not too sure, I should hear something between Wednesday and Thursday, uh, but hopefully, um, the job interview is not on Saturday, so I could go to the Dynasty Cup. Uh, yeah, so I'll be at the Dynasty Cup at Island Games, uh, 12 p.m. is when the tournament starts, hope to see you guys there, um, and yeah, alright, Carver King, Aqualife Baby, we out.